there everyone, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here and also welcome to November where <laughs> on our second to last month of the year and I still have not parted with my Halloween decorations yet because I'm running spooky season out until the very end. I'll get set up for Christmas soon. I think I just still want to enjoy spooky season while it's still here and enjoy fall. Well, I figured I could just do a week of reading and have y'all join me and not go a crazy two weeks like I did in the last vlog. So I'm trying to be better about doing these reading vlogs and getting some more book stuff read during that time and actually abiding by my spooky TBR because I've kind of fallen off the bandwagon with that a little bit. I keep finding other books that aren't on the spooky TBR and I don't know if they've been necessarily the best books ever, but I still had somewhat of a decent time reading them. One of the books I did finish recently was The Eyes Are the Best Part, which I think I was kind of sitting on my reading for a little bit, but I ended up giving that one three stars eventually because even though it was a compelling story, I think it was just building up a little too slow for my taste. And then I also did finish Cackle by Rachel Harrison. And I think I also gave that one three stars. So like semi okay reads, but they could have been better. But <laughs> I will be embarrassed enough to admit that, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna be embarrassed. I started a werewolf in Riverdale today and I just found this randomly at a books a million. It was the only copy there. And this is where I am gonna get embarrassed to say I'm going for Riverdale withdrawal symptoms, even though I have not watched that show since season three. But I will say I am having a lot of fun reading this book. I'm like about 40 pages into it ish, but I'm still, I'm having a great time with this. It's like, I'm getting an itch to do something Riverdale related. And this is kind of scratching at that itch. So yeah, I'm very interested to see where this is going to go. Yeah, we're gonna keep reading this and I, We'll do that until my sister comes to pick me up because we are gonna go out to dinner shortly and go see the wild robot tonight. So I'm gonna be very excited to see that and I'll catch up with y'all in a little bit. Greetings and salutations, internet. I'm back after a couple of days because I keep forgetting to film. So where did I last leave off with y'all? Oh right, the movie. So I saw Wild Robot on Saturday. It was amazing. It made me cry multiple times. So highly recommend you see it at some point, whether in theaters or whether it comes out. It is so cute and so phenomenal in its storytelling and its animation. So really, really like that. What else have I done? Right, so I went to my folks' place on Sunday. I did dinner with them and we did a little puzzle together, caught up on Great British Baking Show. And then I just still have been continuing to read Werewolf and Riverdale as well as continuing to buddy read Cinnamon Bun Bookstore with my sister. Because if you remember from the last vlog, if you did watch the last vlog, I was still working my way through that. But as a little bit of inspiration for us to finish said book, I also did get Christmas Tree Farm at Barnes & Noble on Saturday. And I got myself a copy and my sister a copy. That way we could read it at the same time and check in with each other. So hopefully we don't have to share the same book and read it whenever we get an opportunity. And then I also did find a copy of if It Bleeds by Stephen King at my library. So very excited to get into that because I don't know if I said it in this video or another one, but I am trying to work my way through the Holly Gibney series because I finished the Mr. Mercedes trilogy earlier this year. I think I finished it like middle of summer. So I'm now working my way through the spinoff of Holly's stories. So this is the second one in the Holly specific series. This is a short story collection that follows, I think four stories in it, but the title 
story is the one that follows or continues to follow Holly's story. I think it's a continuation of The Outsider by Stephen King. So very excited to see what comes of this. But I think that's it on reading stuff. Also, actually, no, just kidding, it's not. Um, since today is 11-6, aka Stranger Things Day, I am going to be reading a Stranger Things comic that's, that I think I got for free on my iPad. So I'm going to read that tonight because I do have to work another train shift acting on board. So very excited for that. So I've got my comic book that I'm going to read. I'm probably also going to bring Werewolf and Riverdale with me on the train so I can read that. But yeah, that's it for updates. I'll keep y'all posted and woo, yeah. All right, how much of my makeup residue is still on my face? Oh, that's disgusting. Okay. Well, hello again. It's now Thursday night. I ended up finishing the Stranger Things comic that I got on my iPad. I didn't realize this, but there was also an excerpt from a another comic book line called Black Hammer, which had a little short story in it. So I thought that was very fun. I had no idea what it was about, but it was still a great time. But the main Stranger Things one was very good. I already missed the show already and I need the fifth season to come out yesterday. So I ended up giving that five stars. And then I'm still working my way through A Werewolf and Riverdale. I think I've got like less than a hundred pages left. So goal is to finish that tonight and we'll see where everything goes. Hey child. <laughs> Good morning everyone. We're on another Saturday and I just finished a werewolf in Riverdale this morning. So I really ended up enjoying this book like this. I, I didn't know how I was gonna feel about this book going into it. And I was just gonna give it a shot because why not? But I, really wound up liking it a lot. Obviously it's an Archie novel and it's a high school young adult novel so of course it's gonna be a little bit cheesy at parts and there were a couple of elements where it was slowed down and I kind of wanted to pick back up the pace because it was so fast paced and good but I again like I said I was genuinely surprised at how much I enjoyed this so I ended up giving this a 4.25 out of 5 stars. So if you are a fan of the RG horror graphic novels or the TV show Riverdale, I would highly recommend this because it, it does scratch the itch. And it scratched the itch for me. Okay, so today I have a meeting I have to go to for my sororities alumni club in Bonita, so I have to get ready for that. And then I have a family birthday dinner for one of my relatives later tonight. So I'll probably get ready for that in a little bit, but I'm just gonna make myself some breakfast cause I'm hungry. Hello everyone and happy Sunday afternoon. So I had a very fun time at my events yesterday. So I had a meeting, like I said, for a sorority group that I'm in. And then I also had a family dinner at a Japanese steakhouse at one of our local mall outlets. So that was a lot of fun. I got a really cool slow-mo video of the gentleman that was doing our meal last night with the fire and it was so cool looking back at the footage for that. So when I got back, I just did a little bit more reading and I watched a little bit of YouTube, took a bath and then I hopped in bed. I was pretty much, 
asleep by 10. But then I had... <clears throat> so this one woke me up in the middle of the night repeatedly. <laughs> yeah, so I got woken up multiple times in the middle of the night by the cat. But I did get to sleep in until like 8.30, 9 o'clock this morning. So that was very nice. So I got a little bit of computer work done. I was able to upload some footage for this video to hopefully start editing that. And then I also did just get back from a walk and I took a shower. And I am about to head out soon because tonight my sister and I are doing a cooking class at a place called Kitchen Social. So Kitchen Social is this group that does cooking lessons for groups of parties and couples or families and whatnot. They basically teach you how to cook a meal and you get to basically enjoy your food that you made. So my sister and I are doing a more of a fall harvesty chicken meal with some mushroom and sage and something apple-y for dessert. I've got to look at the menu again, but I'm super excited for that because this is very much reminiscent of what I did when I went to New Orleans last year and did a cooking class with my parents over there. So that was a lot of fun. So I'm about to go get ready for that. It's not until 4.30, but I am just gonna go out to probably Home Goods and maybe a couple other places nearby, Kitchen Social, just that way if I can see if I can secure more Christmas presents for my family and get all that done because I'm trying to get ahead on Christmas shopping before <laughs> Black Friday. <laughs> so I am reading a new book called The Fire Exit by Morgan Tolte, which follows a gentleman who lives across the river from the Penobscot Reservation in Maine. And he has a daughter that lives in the reservation and he's trying to figure out whether or not to tell her the truth and confront her about their relations or not. And there's also a little bit of a mystery going on here too. I'm not 100% sure if I like it yet or not, but there have been some good parts to it. So I'm willing to stick it out and continue on, but I'll probably bring this with me if I just sit down for a little bit somewhere and get to read a little bit before my class tonight. So I'll hopefully see if I can do that. Worst case, I can always just read it when I get home. And yeah, that's it for right now. His name's Mark Lobby. <laughs> to this stuff behind me. I'm slowly, I'm getting Christmas out to start decorating my place. I'm not doing it today, but it will probably happen at some point this weekend once I actually clean my place up because the cat went home. Oh yeah, I have a lot to catch you up on. Hi, good morning. It's been a couple of days since I last recorded and I figured I should probably do a proper outro for this video. So what have I done? I read fire exit. I got that done. I don't know if I necessarily enjoyed it. I think it was a little too slow for my liking because I think I was expecting it more to be a mystery thriller and it kind of leaned more towards the literary fiction side. So it wasn't particularly my taste, but it was still good for a debut author. So if you want to give Morgan Talty a chance, by all means, go for it. It just wasn't my cup of tea. So I think I ended up giving that 2.75 out of five stars for my rating. And then what else have I done? Oh my gosh. Um, cooking class, that was fun. Love that. Definitely would wanna go back and do another class over there at Kitchen Social. So thank you to Chef Chris and his assistant Logan. They were fantastic. Um, what else? I saw the movie Heretic with my sister. That was interesting. <laughs> it was actually really good. No, it was just a lot of very interesting topic points of discussion in the movie. So if you could stop a horror, I would definitely recommend going to see it. And yeah, other than that, just work, more reading. Oh, I did start 
if it bleeds this morning. And I'm currently on the first story, Mr. Harrigan's phone. So I'm like 30 pages into that, pretty good so far. But other than that, yeah, I think we'll cap off the video here. So thanks for watching and I will catch you in another video. Bye.